So we finished off at um, so we finished at Port Mary and then went on a bit of a ride. We've just done a big loop and we've come back to a place which isn't too far from Festiniog. We're going to quickly make a cup of tea and then we're going to hit the road. We're going to get out of North Wales, back into Mid Wales and uh, find, a, find a park up. That was a great location last night and we'd love to find something similar to that. A bit sheltered as well from the wind, that'd be great. So, there you go. Port Marion was fantastic this morning and then a bit of a bit just bit of a circle drive this afternoon so yeah there you go and Claire's hay fever's playing her up mm-hmm I've taken everything including a Milky Way include no it was a Snickers <laughs> well you had a Snickers and a Milky Way no just the Snickers they're my Snickers <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see where we end up tonight folks and then uh last day tomorrow full day and night and then we'll uh, we'll be back on the road home tell you one thing that I did discover as well with this trip like I said in the last video we don't plan anything we just let the road take us now unfortunately um, people that are familiar with the Welsh roads and and area probably know one or two places where you can pull over however they tend to be literally on the side of a main road lay by that's not what we like doing we're not just after a park up for the night we like to have a little place we can uh, explore from and you know rest for an afternoon or such so uh, we really struggle to find some parking places to be fair uh, right the bottoms are done done we're done. done let's go and find a good park up and we'll see you there get these you get this you get this a lot in the UK sometimes you know you just can't find that idyllic park up and as I say I don't fancy and me myself and Claire want to have a barbecue tonight so we're not going to do that on the side of a road in a lay-by so <laughs> yeah, it is what it is it's what it is but and we're heading our way uh, back south towards mid Wales because um, there's a big barren area there and it, it's closer to getting back home when we eventually leave so that's what we want to do that's how we get on we'll let you know So after uh, quite a, an unpleasant day traveling and searching, we've come back to the dam here. I point it out on the map. We're the only van parked up. There is another photographer here. He's uh, looking to capture some stars maybe later today uh, or early, early hours of the morning. So uh, our new uh, chimney and barbecue is already on the go. We are hungry, very hungry. So I've got that 
that down there. So we've got some chicken skewers, Claire's doing some veggies and we've got some Chinese pork. This is a great location all the way up the top as you come over into this area, into the reservoir area. There's loads of park up, some of them are quite exposed in the barren areas but it's uh, really nice. We're just going to stay at the top. But I said to Claire, let's just come down and see where we can give this a go. See whether uh, there's any other vans there. Lo and behold, we're the only ones there. It's a good shout. There she is, in the dark. <laughs> Hello, from the dark. Doing some veggies. So, I better make sure that the meat's all right. is probably lighting me up as if it's uh, middle of the day but it's not it's half past five and uh, I'm just coming down to see whether I can get a picture of this dam which is uh, looking rather splendent <laughs> I think I'm gonna set up just up here so that I can get the reflection in the water. Claire's still getting dressed. <laughs> My eyes may not show it, but I am a morning person. I do like uh, getting up early. So let's get this picture. So it's still very early and the sun hasn't really come up yet. What we'll probably do is have a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a, a sleep later on. A little afternoon snooze. So that alarm clock did go off at half four, five o'clock. But there was no, uh, there was no mist this morning or anything exciting like that. I was hoping for a little bit of mist down in the valley on the other side. Uh, almost looking like a little cloud inversion, but we didn't get anything like that. There you go. The sheep are making a racket on the other side of the bank. still out and about it's just gorgeous and as I said before that's why I like uh, that's why I like doing the photography side of things not only does it um, drag you out of your bed in the morning make you a little bit more active you get pleasure looking at your photos and uh, memories of your visits and places that you've uh, discovered Here comes Claire, she didn't like it down there. <laughs> she doesn't like mornings either, to be fair. <laughs> but she does make the effort, she does get up. Lumbering around with that great big rucksack on the back first thing in the morning isn't always uh, pleasant. Almost Oops. made. Oh, So it's a lovely uh, peace and quiet this morning. So it looks like the sun's gonna break out in a bit. And uh, quite, a, quite a wonderful location to be fair. 
so uh, pretty pretty. I don't know what we're going to be doing for the rest of today. Uh, I do love this area. Um, it'll be our last day tomorrow, so we might have a, a good look around this area, go for a walk and a little bit of a hike. So in case I've not uh, told you before, this location here is also brilliant because just down the corner there, are some toilets that are open uh, all the time. And they're really clean, well looked after, and with COVID there's only one in one out, so uh, you know who's left a mess if uh, <laughs> it's busy. But it's, um, no, our toilets are here, so that's a really handy location if you want to stop over. And this is uh, obviously, what day are we on now? Wednesday. So there's no one here. Lovely. A couple of visitors last night, we had a guy that was uh, part of Dark Skies, which is um, again for photography, but it's uh, nighttime photography. And this spot is one of the best locations in the UK for dark skies, so no light po pollution. So if you're into uh, astronomy and you like a bit of um, nighttime photography, then this is a place to go. Come along here, sit up here. You've got loads of banks and uh, places you can observe the Milky Way from, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a bit cloudy last night, so the guy that we were speaking to, he, uh, he went back to his hotel instead, and <laughs> I don't blame him. Yeah? Dark skies. So that's us uh, finished at Craigock Dam in Mid Wales. Where we're part, we're right in the middle of the Ellen Valley here. So we're going to uh, head out and check out the rest of the valley. Buckle up. Yep. Right up. Yep. Let's hit the road. So here's a question for you. Can you do North, Mid and South Wales in a few days? Let's give it a go. So that's us um, finished in Ellen Valley. We're gonna now drive off and I think we're gonna drive down to Brecon and drive through the beacons and have a night there before we uh, make our way home. But a big uh, shout out to Darren, who we met at the dam the other day. Uh, keen photographer himself um, yeah it was an absolute pleasure meeting you buddy and uh, safe travels and good photography so we've made it to Ponstickill Reservoir in the Brecon Beacons 
And because we we're up so early this morning, I think Claire needs to get a little teeny weeny bit of sleep. Claire's very tired. And Tony's very hungry. So this is where we are on the map. There's the Brecon Beacons. And the reservoir. Sleep time. Um, so we're back in England and we wanted somewhere to stop before we actually head home uh, properly in the morning. So um, we've actually taken in an English heritage site today and you will see it in just a second. We've come to Arthur's, Arthur's Stone, sorry, kettle's on, <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! which is actually an ancient Neolithic burial ground. Um, but it has been linked to King Arthur since the 13th century or just before. I was expecting to see a scalibur or something like that hanging out of it, but um, no, what we've got is a stone called Arthur. No, it's Arthur's stone. Here you go. So that top stone there, that side, they estimate to be around 25 ton and it's over 5,000 years old. And it was a, um, I reckon a burial tomb. Now this one hasn't been excavated like some of them, but they found quite a few in this area. And when they've uh, dug them up, dug them over, they found remains of um, skeletons and bits of flint and uh, things like that but this one's been left as it is so somewhere underneath there is probably the remains of someone 5,000 years old and that's how it should be leave them in peace although I've got a shovel on the back of the van now which uh, I, wonder if, I wonder if they'd found any gold by then <laughs> Claire? This Neolithic chamber tomb is over 5,000 years old. Today, only the large stones of the inner chamber remain, though these were once covered by a long earthen mound. We need to do more. So, with the lovely background noise of the lambs and a gorgeous sunset behind you, this is Wales. I'm going to put you there. Done. <laughs> I wouldn't be filming this, this is just throw it all in, this isn't I'm pretty. I'm filming because you're cooking. 
But you told me to throw it all in together and mix it all up. Yep. Look. High prices. Yeah, we'll do. share something with you now folks about this adventure which is uh, a bit strange for us so normally as you know we don't plan we don't have an itinerary uh, we have a few locations where we would like to visit and then we just let the road take us on an adventure that hasn't worked with this time this is the first time that we've uh, come unstuck a little bit and uh, let me explain why being photographers we always look out for those uh, <laughs> photographic locations and like I said before that really helps when we uh, you know if I'm looking on Google Maps I'll see something a lighthouse a castle or something like that and then I'll drive to that and that will form part of our adventure however this time Covid's had a little bit of a bigger effect in Wales than it hit did in uh, Scotland that being that um, a lot of the places were shut. So we went to three castles in the end. They were all closed, uh, not open to the public, obviously for safety reasons or whatever. Um, and same with some of the tourist attractions. We went to two different slate mines. Both were closed off to the public, big barriers across, so we couldn't get into them either. And I wanted to have a, have a little scout and have a look around them. So, um, yeah, the COVID impact still continues. And like I say, this is the first time that by not having a little bit of an itinerary, by not having them f photographic type locations that we wanted to visit, well, we come unstuck. But this has been a, a great short adventure. Uh, we've covered some miles still. We've still gone from North Wales down to the Brecon Beacons. We didn't stay in the Brecon. That was, uh, that was quite busy, to be fair. So we've come out. To here, to the other side of Hereford. We're going to chill here for the night. And back down the country roads, hit the M5 and then uh, M6, A14, back home. Well, we didn't think we'd uh, leave you without... Yes! Oh, the obligatory game. Having a obligatory game of Ludo. Thanks ever so much for watching this adventure and um, it's not been the most exciting but again it got us out on the road, a lot of things still aren't open but uh, until next time we'll see you on the road soon.